Hello everyone, um, Millie Phillips here. Um, I work in the Deadly Kindies team and I've got a special friend here with me today. Yeah, so my name is Brenton Bowen and I'm a Deadly Choices Ambassador and I'm happy to be here today to bring yeah. the book. So. That's right, we've got a Deadly book to read today and um, this is by um, a book by Dr. Bronwyn Bancroft. We've, um, we've had a few of um, Bronwyn Bancroft's books because she's a Deadly artist, so she does the artwork as well as written the book. We've actually, I just want to show you the book that we've got. It's actually the Art in Country and it's four books in one. So we've already done the Colours of Australia and Shapes of Australia, but the book that we're going to do today is called Patterns of Australia. So Dr. Bronwyn Bancroft is a Bundjalung woman. Um, so we're going to get Brenton to read the book the story for us. Yeah, um, yeah. It's actually a picture book. So as Brenton goes through it, we'll be um, doing a few things as well. Yeah, awesome. So with this one, so we're on uh, page 77. So, so this is Patterns of Australia. So, so the patterns, so this one, so on this page, you've got the patterns of the sky. So if you look, Carefully in, in this page, you can see a cockatoo, a galah, a kite, and the king parrot, a dragonfly, a butterfly, and bees in the shifting clouds. So, if you can see, so these patterns um, it's like the shape of the clouds. Um, there's also a boomerang from the old times, a parachutist, and a hot air balloon from the, from the present, so from today. Yeah, lots, lots hidden within those pictures. Yeah, there's a lot. Oh. So obviously, with all these um, objects or animals, they're all associated with the sky. Uh, on the next page, we've got the patterns of the bush. Um, so nature co um, constantly changes. The rocks can look as organic as the tree trunks. The animals disappear and become part of the surroundings. So they can be camo camouflaged with the, the trees and the, the leaves and also the ground. Um, in the bush, we can see the, um, there's an echidna or the porcupine, uh, the frill necked lizard, a rock wallaby, a magpie, a sugar glider, which is the possum, uh, a red um, ghost hawk, a wedge tail eagle, a blue, ta blue tongue lizard, and a blue wren, and shrinks are hiding. Again, so the, you know, we talk about the bushes, um, the animals um, and the birds are all, all camouflaged in the bushes, so it's sort of um, hide away from their prey. Uh, on this page, we've got the patterns of the night. So lying in the bush at night, looking up at the stars, you have to listen for the animals you can see. Um, in this one, so there's a koala, a possum, an owl, a bat, a toad, a carpet snake, and a spider rustling amongst the leaves. Can you find them now? Yeah, so they again, so there's they're, they're all we talk about the camouflage and sort of um, with the, the background and all these animals uh, are camouflaged and you can't really see them in, in this, but they're, they're there somewhere and they're hiding. Uh, on this page, we've got the patterns of the desert. The desert is full of movement. The air moves with the flickering heat and sand uh, particles are blown by the wind. Many animals live in this harsh environments and they include the red kangaroo, a scorpion, an emu, a wombat, a billy, a snake, a guana, a, a, a brumby, and wedge tail eagles. And again, so all of these animals are associated with the desert. On this page, we've got the patterns of the wildflowers. Wildflowers grow in the barren desert landscapes. As the seasons change, the desert can be bur uh, burst into bloom suddenly, and there is an abundance of wildflowers grow all over Australia. <laughs> you've got the, the Sturts Desert Pea, the Waratah, the Wattle, you've got the Kangaroo Paws. Um, can you 
But you see the uh, Kalisman, the Sunju, uh, the Fringe Myrtle, the Emu Bush and the Snow Daisies. So again, like all of these uh, flowers and bushes um, or wildflowers, so it's mainly, mainly found in the deserts or in the, the wild parts of Australia. Yeah, on this page we've got the patterns of the river. The old stories tell the rainbow serpent creating rivers. Bubbles re represent the sparkle and the freshness of the water. Behind the bubbles there are crocodiles, a water snake, a turtle, a water spider, a fish, a yabby, a platypus, a crane, ducks and tadpoles. And as you can see all these patterns represents the bubbles and I can, I can see a, a crocodile in there uh, but there's again there's a, a lot of animals uh, that are hidden behind those bubbles. On this page we've got the patterns of the wetlands. The sun rays make a re repeating pattern in the early morning and the hundreds of birds and animals start the day in, on the land and water. Um, can you find a water monitor, a rock wallaby, a, a heron, a crayfish, a sea eagle, a magpie goose, a fish, brolgus, and black swans? Yeah, I can see them. They're sort of, again, they're hiding. <laughs> On this page, we've got the patterns of the rainforest. The rainforest is like nature's cave. It's dark, dank cavity feels almost like night. And its colors are murky in the shadows. Hiding in the uh, foliage are bush rats, a kingfisher, a witchetty grub, a butterfly, a frog, a snake, a guana, and a cassowary. On this page, we've got the patterns of the ocean, the tumbling waves of the way of uh, the, the tumbling curves of the waves are like the circle of life in the ocean. What lurks in the dark mystery sea? Can you find a turtle, a starfish, a stingray, a squid, a seahorse, a sea snake, a shark? Looking up through the waves in the sky, can you see the seagulls as well? Yeah. Again, like the, all the colors and uh, animals that associate with the sea and the ocean. On this page, we've got the patterns of the reef. When you look out at the stretch of the water, you can see the beautiful shimmering colors playing across the surface, like ribbons or strands of coral. Beneath the surface are dolphins, a starfish, a clam, a diver, a shark, a whale, shells and tropical fish. I like this, this page, it's very colorful. So, and to me, it represents the Great Barrier Reef. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the end. Okay. Nice. What a deadly book and finished with your favorite one, finished yeah. on your favorite <laughs> page there. Yeah. So as you can see, the, there's so many patterns in Australia and, um, you know, Brom and Bancroft in this book has represented them well with her art and the diversity of the animals and plants as well. So if you have a look and you can find your favourite page, like Brenton's favourite yeah. page was the ocean. Um, I think my favourite page might have been the wildflowers. Yeah, um, that was good too. Yeah, so um, have a look through. You can go through with your friends, with your mums and dads, um, aunties, uncles, your cousins. Um, get open, open up the book and um, have a look and see what you can find. So thank you very much, Brenton. Thank um, you. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.